Okay, Flynn, you, you're now a full-time professional footballer, having yeah. signed your first contract with York City. Tell us how you feel. Oh, I'm really happy, really. Uh, it was obviously something I've been looking forward to doing since I started playing football. It's what I've been working towards, so the dream come true, really. It's yeah. been a long wait. Because you joined City uh, as a 14-year-old, is that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, I've had all the different coaches, obviously. It's what they tell you in the academy that you've got to work towards. Obviously, start my youth team as well. This is what you've got to get out of it at the end. It wasn't really. Has it been a hard slog to get this far? Very, very. Obviously, my first year didn't go as planned, but second year it's sort of opened up for me really. And I thought I've, it's been hard work, but I think I've put in what I've needed to. What happened in the first year that didn't go to First plan? year, yeah. Uh, it started off really well actually. We had a pre season trip to Portugal and I was probably playing the best football I've played in a long time and then about halfway through the season I lost my place to Ryan Edmondson who he wasn't even a scholar then he was an under 16 he was still a schoolboy and then I fell behind Gary McGill as well in the pecking order and that means it I mean it was really hard for me but start my second year things started looking up a little bit yeah, and all turned out alright in the end. Yeah. Obviously Ryan and Gabby both moved on to uh, yeah. the championship clubs last season. That opened the door for you in some respect. Yeah definitely. I think if that hadn't have happened, then I don't know if I'd have ended up making my debut. I might even be studying now, but these things happen in football, I suppose. Now, do you reflect on your progress last season? You, you got three uh, appearances in the first team. Did yeah. that come uh, earlier than you expected? Yeah, or? definitely. I didn't expect it all. If you just said to me at the start of the season I'd be making appearances for the first team come March, then I'd have said, nah, not a chance. But uh, everything just sort of fell in place injuries and I obviously ran and kept believing that was the start of it all. But, yeah, so, come the end of the season, how confident were you that you were going to get offered a deal? It, everyone had spoke about it, in the, obviously in the changing room before games and things. I was, I was confident. I think making an appearance in the first team had put me in good stead. For, but you don't know. But I'm really happy. I'm, I'm really happy with it, yeah. So, was it a, an easy decision for you to accept? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'd had, obviously, I had other options and I had to consider them. That's what it's taken me quite a while to accept the offer, but it's, it's a, if you've got an offer to go professional, you can't really turn it down, can you? Your dad Michael was a professional footballer with Scarborough. Yeah. He must be a very proud man today. He is very, he's, he's te he texted me on the day I accepted it and said it's a really proud day for me. It's not, not something that comes on often, is it? But yeah, it's obviously it's good to follow in his footsteps as well. What's it like being the son of a, an ex professional, does it? Get extra pressure from him because he wants you to follow his. Footsteps. A little bit, yeah, because he he knows what he knows what the game's like. He uh, he's probably he's a really he's like there's a good influence on me because he knows he's obviously been in my position before. He knows what the best is like on the football inside. You know, there's no one better to have around me really. So looking ahead to next season now, there's going to be quite tough competition for mm. first team places. What's yeah. the manager actually said to you about? The challenge facing you next season as the young lad in that squad. He's just told me to come back in pre-season, fit as a fiddle, be at the front of all the running, uh, stay at my place in pre-season games, and uh, come the start of the season I could be involved with the first team. So that'd be brilliant, really. Would you set yourself a, a personal target? Would you, would you set yourself a number of appearances or even goals next just, season? Just to break into the first team, try and make an impact, really, because obviously I think the first team will be looking for promotion this season. That's where we should be. I just want, I just want to be part of it and try and make an impact here. Yeah. You mentioned the, the prospects for the team next season. Yeah. From what you've seen so far with the manager bringing in new players, are you optimistic that the club will be uh, challenging for the title next yeah, definitely. season? Definitely. I think he's made a big statement by bringing the players from the league above. And uh, I think we've got, a, we've got a really strong squad for next season, yeah. With the players that have stayed on from this season, I think definitely, we'll definitely challenge. So what's the plan for you between now and uh, pre-season training? Just get fit, really. Obviously I'm fit as it is, but I just need to get as fit as possible for pre-season and then show the guy for what I can do. I suppose ideally you wouldn't even have a, a pre-season. Would you like to get started straight away? Ideally, yeah, definitely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, congratulations Thank for you. a new good luck Cheers. next season. Thank you.